I'm Chris Stefanik here with Pat Lencioni, and here's your three-minute reset. I want to talk about the need to matter. Every human heart has this need. We need to know that we mean something, that our life is meaningful, that we make a difference. We all know that. We all need that. I also know this, guys. If you don't know that you matter, if you go through life with that sense that I, I don't know how to measure my worth or value, it'll rob your joy. And it'll mix up all your motives and mess with your work because half your work will be done out of that need, which you can't do away with. And you'll go down all these rabbit holes trying to find ways to prove your value as a human being. You know, there's one of the most boring parts of the Bible is is repeated constantly throughout the Bible. It's the genealogies. No one actually sits down with a cup of coffee if you like to read your Bible and reads them in great detail unless you're a theologian and that's your thing. It's a bunch of names where it's like, who are these people? God has these, quote, no names pop up repeatedly as a thread throughout the entire Bible because it's a reminder that it's all those, quote, no names. If it weren't for those people, the Bible wouldn't have happened. There would have been no salvation history. There would have been no no Jesus at the end of the genealogy. So often, guys, we are those people. We're that person in in that list, and we don't see our role in the big picture of it all. But we know that because we have this God who loves us, who's the author of, of life and of history, we can rest in the fact that even if we don't see it, we matter infinitely. And I would say that most of us, most people don't really fully understand how much we matter to God. And as a result of that, we are trying to find a place or a way to matter in the world. And I know that's true of myself. I know most people that that achieve anything, oftentimes they do that because they want to feel like, they're important and that they're playing a role in something worthwhile or more importantly and more dangerously that they're recognized for that. And the Mm. people that impress me the most are the ones that do something really important and aren't recognized for it. And they're okay with that. I know there's this prayer that's called the litany of humility. And I've heard from from all different kinds of Christians that, that, that read this. And they say that in the prayer, we pray that God will take away from us the desire to be noticed, the Hmm. desire to be consulted, the desire to get credit for anything. And it's a frightening prayer. And people that pray it, the litany of humility, they say, oh, it's so frightening. But what's what makes me realize how powerful it is, is that we're not saying I want to be unnoticed. We're saying, God, take away my desire to be noticed, Hmm. to know that I'm, let me know that I matter, whether anyone else knows that I matter. Amen. So let's pray. Lord, we thank you for seeing in us something you found worth dying for. Help us to rest in that so that we're not desperate to to matter in the eyes of people and to know that we're part of your great plan, even if in this life we don't see the full impact of our lives. Help us to rejoice in that. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.